I'll I'll wait for the picture to catch up here. I guess uh, to be nice, Scott, to the YouTube and <laughs> boom. <laughs> Regal Eagle Smokehouse has released photos of the new menu. Now, the Regal Eagle is going to be the new restaurant attached to the American Pavilion in Epcot. Uh, Epcot being the theme park that Dalton would most like to come back and revisit. <laughs> most definitely. I love yeah. Epcot. It was yeah. my favorite when we went. I have always been a little upset with the American uh, Pavilion because it's always been like burgers, fries, chicken nuggets. And I'm thinking, you yeah, know, America, American food, yeah. yeah, America has so much more. I mean, at least you put a Thanksgiving dinner in there, right? Um, mm -hmm. But but we also have like Florida has key lime pie. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, you have New, New England. England have gumbo. Yeah. Um, New England has basically everything Pennsylvania Dutch. Exactly. There is so much actual American food you could be putting in here that that when they said it was when when, when all I ever saw was hamburgers, chicken nuggets. No, no, no. So they decided to go with Smokehouse. I am a okay because America does barbecue like nobody else. That was not my America. <laughs> Say again? It was not my. Yeah, it, it wasn't my America. <laughs> yeah, and if you're get, yeah, and here's the thing: if you're going to do hamburgers, then do hamburgers. Don't do Disney burgers. Yeah. D if you're going to represent the United States, don't put those plank burgers in there. You know, put real hamburgers. Like uh, at Universal Studios, one of my favorite places to go is the Hot Dog Hall of Fame. And that is hot dogs from ballparks all over the uh, country. So if you went to Shea Stadium, this is the dog. This is the most famous dog there. If you went to um, Yankee Stadium, this is the most famous hot dog that they sell there. Where's this? At, at Universal Studios. But where? Uh, across, uh, across from the big city, uh, the big fire grill and, and Hito's. It's attached. Like if you, the main store the main, you know, if you uh, go around it, it's actually attached to it. In the park or city? Uh, in City Walk. In City Walk. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to keep a lookout for that. Oh, because... the Chicago dog is to die for. I love it. The Arizona dog is good, and the Kansas City is really good as, uh, as well. That's barbecue. That's, uh, oh, so good. But um, what I think they could do is like that, where, okay, if you went to, like, they have 50 burgers on the menu. And this is the most. This is how that state likes their burgers, or even yeah, that's or have it, or have Honestly, it rotate. That's the great thing about America because we are such a melting pot. Mm -hmm. Like the different regions of America are almost different countries under themselves. Yeah, that's that's the way I would do America, the American Pavilion. You know, if you're going to do hamburgers, let's do hamburgers. Uh, since there's fifty, there, I'm going to make myself sound like Obama here. There's 50 states, right? Uh, yeah, 50 yeah. States. There, there's 50 states, so you could, uh, you, you could, you know, cut it up. So, like, uh, you you only feature 12 in a season or 13 in a season, you know, and that way you're not overwhelming the menu. And uh, yeah, I think that would be any good. But anyway, here we go. This looks awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited now. Yeah, the new I, fast I am casual, already sold. Yes, please. New fast casual Regal Eagle Smokehouse will open this winter in Epcot's World Showcase, and Disney is today's share to look at the menu. As you would expect, the cuisine is classic American backyard barbecue featuring platter sandwiches and salads. Kaboom. Look at that stuff right there. Oh, my gosh. It's like a quarter. It's a quarter chicken right there. You got that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Um, let's go in. Sandwich included is sliced Texas Beef brisket sandwich with house made spicy mop sauce on okay. garlic toast and Southern Carolina smoked sausage sandwich with a tangy mustard sauce and caramelized ew onions. But dang, it's I don't only like, ill I don't to like you because you're allergic, you man. It sounds delicious to me. Yeah, I know, I know. Now, here's the thing that looks like a Disney burger. Uh, that, I'm going to say right here that, that looks part, like yeah. And that is horrible. Guys, you're screwing up already. Uh, don't, I would, that's the one thing I would say, don't make it a Disney burger. Now, when I say Disney burger, I, I, I worked for a little bit when I, when I, uh, tore my knee up, I worked for a little bit at, um, at, at Mel's in universal. I usually worked at Simpsons at the time I went and worked at Mel's 
and they literally have all these frozen patties and they just put it on this little conveyor belt and it goes through the oven. It comes out. It's a cooked patty and they are garden. They are uh, sawdust burgers. Okay. Disney does the same thing. I'm going to point out though, on top of that burger right there, it looks like there's barbecue on it and yeah. then cheese. So even if it is the frozen patty, you've got a good sandwich right there. That's going to, yeah, you got the beef brisket on the cheap burger patty. I'm just saying, come on, stop, stop scrimping on the burgers. At Universal Studios, if you go into Volcano Bay, however, they've got real burgers there. Let's start doing that, guys. Give us something to buy here. Meats include Kansas City smoked chicken, Memphis dry rub pork ribs, North Carolina chopped sm smoked pork ass available by themselves or, okay, pork butt. Uh, available by themselves or as part of a platter. Salads include power green salads with chilled pulled pork and chicken, fresh citrus uh, and such citrus vinaigrette. And burger options include the grilled burger topped with barbecue pork and fried onion rings. Once again, ew. But once again, only because I'm allergic. But that it, right there, look at that. That's a real burger. <laughs> that's that's a hamburger right there, man. That looks good. Get rid of that onion ring on the top. Put a little extra sauce there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a happy, happy, happy camper right there. Sides include French fries, onion rings, mac and cheese, baked beans with burnt ends, which is incredible. I love that. Okay. Here's yeah. the thing. They What's need up? to make it steak fries. Steak fries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Well, yeah. But, you know, they get like, they, they've got a deal on these things. So I guess. <sighs> but I agree. Steak fries would be better. Uh, wrapping up. I'm not, food, I'm so. not super picky as long as they're good fries. I don't really care. Well, they aren't, they aren't great fries. It's they're not great fries. fries. Yeah. He's right. He's right. But, uh, so the desserts are banana pudding or a s'mores brownie or a cup of fresh watermelon garnish with torn mint. And the menu will feature beer and cider from around the country. Uh, wines from the West Coast and specialty region cocktails and uh, with and without alcohol. And I'm it's sorry. Uh, one second. I just have to complain because what the heck is that dessert menu? Banana pudding? Yeah. Moore's brownie or a cup of watermelon? What yeah. The that for as much as the food entices, the dessert menu sucks. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm for Florida. Give me the key lime pie, man. If you're for Boston, get the cream pie. But yeah, these I, are not are just desserts. There's not even apple pie. Not even apple pie, man. Seriously. Which is a travesty. Yeah. If you're if you're talking America and you don't have apple pie uh, somewhere in there, you have failed. You have failed uh, to America properly. America, spread your golden wings. Alrighty. So anyway, there you go. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be here, man. I, I I know Gail was excited about it. It's one of her favorite restaurants. So uh, we're going to be checking that out. So let's see. Did it say – it just said this December, right? Um, I didn't see it, it when it said. I thought it did. I thought it had a um, – Scroll on down. It's probably at the bottom. Needs include taking over space room. Okay. Did it say? Uh, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Okay. I, I thought I thought I read it off. Okay. Anyway, I've been working on it for a while, so. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh, here it is. Uh, new fast casual blah blah. Oh, we'll open this winter in Epcot's world. Yeah, they count winter as like January, February as well as for that. But I can't imagine they won't want to get this open for Christmas. Yeah. Christmas crowd. So hopefully they do. We're. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna check it out. Because like I said, Gail always liked the American Pavilion. Her thing was, let's just grab something, go sit down and watch whatever concert is there. So that's why she loved that restaurant. She just got very used to the you, food. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm big on this. I'll check this out. See if the barbecue is better than the uh, flame tree. Just out of curiosity, you've, you've gone to Epcot during Christmas time and seen the Santas that they have around course, there, yeah. right? Oh, oh yeah. okay. Good. Just making sure. Wait, Absolutely. They, wait, they have regional Santa Clauses? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They tell their story and everything. Yeah. You'll miss him. Yeah, Noel. That would definitely be something that would make me consider going during the holidays. A lot of fun. Um, if, if you come, though, you want to go in the first two weeks of December. 
Yeah. Uh, once it hits the 18th, you don't want it. 18th to the 8th of January. Yeah, no, I, I, rem I remember us discussing this, and yeah, it makes total sense. Absolutely. Okay. You, but it you, goes and, on for, you and everybody else who ever thought that basically is going to show up. It goes on for a little bit after Christmas, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, 18th to January 8th. Do not. Oh, you were talking about uh, uh, going in January then. Yeah. Yeah, if you go January, make sure it's from the 9th on up to the end of January, but do not come for the first week of January because that's still Christmas. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you don't want to show up then. Yeah. All righty. There you go, gang. That is the Regal Eagle menu. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. My goodness gracious, it looks good. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't done it already. And if you want to help out the channel, go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. Links are in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till and helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers and fellow Mouseketeers out there, thank you very, very much for watching and see you real soon.